A cooling breath on hill and sea in Denmark, land of crests. Rustling trees far and near and murmuring tunes in miller's wheels. Swelling waves against seashores and sweetly breathing summer blues. Denmark's voice, a mother's voice, the soft embrace of a boundless dream. A poet's pen put these words on paper in 1914. The pen was Tuyo Larsen's, who immortalized the region he loved in lines which can truly be called the local national anthem. A region with wide horizons and with adventures waiting for you. In the shops, in the air, in local culture and in the landscape. Where the locals have practiced hospitality since the first shipwrecks struck the coast centuries ago. Here, where the horizon is far and wide, we are still not too long-sighted to forget what is near. We are ready to rally to the defense of our villages if anybody should wish to remove any of the elements which are essential to village life, in villages where you can still shop locally. Oh dear, what a breathtaking sight this would be. In a white screen color movie, you know. In the middle of all this is Lim V, a disguised city with village charm. A city where you don't waste your leisure time in the glow of your dashboard light, packed like cattle going to and from work, but where cattle are something you see in the fields. Out here, people aren't packed to suffocation point. We have space to breathe and stretch. Yet you won't feel so lonely that you fear being forgotten. This is a place where good neighbors are part of the landscape and where the rest of the landscape delivers fresh produce. With his humorous pen, cartoonist Henning Gantries made Lem V hum with his depiction of daily life in Lethenlund where everyday life was portrayed for better and worse, and where nobody escaped, whether clergymen or city gossips, but lovingly, so even Lem V's own citizens enjoyed reading about and laughing at themselves. Our town looks so quiet and peaceful. True. And just think, the tourist hordes will be swarming in before long. This region is more than a city dot on a map. We are in a region where creativity and poetic expression have such a major place in people's hearts that even the train has been honored by local musicians with a signature tune known throughout the country. Out here, where bands are named after local delicacies, go to work or school on rails, on wheels, or on water. While the infrastructure is set to music, brushstrokes have long attempted to frame the landscape, and painter Jens Sundergaard was so delighted with what he saw that he changed his title of tourist for that of artist commuter between Copenhagen and Beaupierre in the late 20s. No sooner had I arrived in Copenhagen before I regretted it bitterly. It's dreadful here when you come from Balbia, unpainterly and tame. Indeed, it's mad tramping useless around here when you could be over there at the sea and feel happy and satisfied and, most importantly, inspired. And there are other encounters to be had in Beaupierre than with painters. 
a rendezvous at dusk with a rugged chap with a twinkle in his eye. Beaupierre Lighthouse, offering you a marvelous view of the region. But step inside and lose yourself in all sorts of things, from political views to the sound of blues. If you want to get your pulse up, you can watch the elite play ball for their honor at the local arena. Or if your body and soul crave rest, relaxation and balance, seek out one of the wellness centers and recover in its restorative atmosphere. This is a region which takes the breath away from anybody intending to participate in all the cultural offerings available in every nook and cranny of the place. But you can also seek tranquility. Out here in the deep solitude of the woods, it's easy to feel a little startled if encountering anybody other than your own shadow. For here there is space to let peace descend and thoughts roam and drink in every aspect of the natural environment. Although it's always possible to find a spot where you can be alone with your thoughts, the wind will rarely leave you alone. In a country where everybody is always talking about the weather, this is a spot which naturally offers a lot of conversation. Out here, the wind can set the agenda and tourists will have the opportunity to test their new wind cheaters on a rainy afternoon. And where fishermen consider the risk in going out to sea. And the shop owner on the quay wonders if he should take out the sandbags. And the search and rescue fleet tests its engines in case they should be needed to rescue anything from shipwrecked fishermen to tourists on air mattresses who have floated out to sea. You can also explore the wind and the sea in the safe indoors, where you can learn about the strength of the waves and the speed of the wind, while also learning how to park a fishing boat. And you can study the animals of the sea close up, provided you don't mind patting a shark on the head or holding a crab in your hand. Experiences of nature also feature on the map of things to see and do in the land of hills and waves. Nature is on the agenda not only after work. School has moved out into the open air where you can use the wind to learn about mathematics and the trees to improve your Danish. And the natural environment will lift your spirits and strengthen your personal resources out here where theory becomes practice. In an area where nature is close and neighbors far, it's not always easy to find a place of education close to where you live. But not so here, where whole school towns and colleges teach high school pupils, and teachers and boarding schools welcome your teenage children, where the city welcomes college students, and the sea our fishermen of the future. Further education colleges of all kinds welcome both the young and the old to assist them in broadening their horizons. And if this is your home at the ebb of your life, you'll still be able to enjoy the fresh breeze and the sea view of life. Arching day over lean fjord waves Broad waters, bay, and winding streams. Selling land, two land, and sun tinted isles greet each other with seagull shrieks. The farmer tilling his yielding fields lifts his gaze from earthbound cares. Lines written in 1939 by Eric Bertelsen whose path to becoming a writer went via jobs as a farmhand, fisherman and teacher, a path characteristic of a region overflowing with creative energy. Even without a long education, active and creative people have set to and built an active industrial and commercial sector, and throughout the region, a strong entrepreneurial spirit is the driving force behind a long series of businesses producing everything from small tractors, organic milk and pork, to glass art.
This is the place where people care, a place with room for big thoughts and togetherness. For out here, surrounded by hill crests and wave crests, nature's wonders are free gifts. Grazing cattle, horses and sheep across wide open spreading fields. Barn doors swallowing harvest wagons. Sweeping sails around cliffs and coves. Fleeting showers over dark brown moors. This is the Danish summer.